Has anyone told you that food in Thailand is very affordable? Because it really is. But what do you really get for what you pay? In this video, I'm going to visit three different buffet restaurants in Thailand. A street buffet that only costs little over a dollar, a $10 seafood and meat barbecue buffet, and a $100 buffet where they serve insanely luxurious items. They are all beautiful and unique in their own ways, and I even make a great friend in this video, so don't even think about skipping a second of this video, it'll be worth your time. Today I'm out here in Bangkok, Thailand. Right now I'm in Lumpini Park in Bangkok, which is kind of like the Central Park in New York, but they don't have as many homeless people here. Around the number 8 gate of Lumpini Park, they have the legendary 50 baht buffet that you guys might have seen on YouTube before. It's probably one of the most affordable buffets all around the world. And me as a huge buffet guy, it matters not whether it's good or not. I'm gonna have to try it. It would be fantastic if the food is good too. They were constantly cooking the food outside. Of course it's far from fancy. But for a buffet that only costs $1.40, this is a luxury. The customers were almost 100% locals, most of them being delivery workers and taxi drivers. Well, today I'm going to join them for a feast. Here we go. Thank you. Now, let's go get the food. Because it's so cheap, I thought it'd be mostly plant-based, but they had a surprising amount of meat and even seafood like this clam dish. All right, here's my first plate of the food. On my plate, I have some vegetable curry, bamboo shoots, clams, beef noodles, and glass noodles. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I'm a little nervous. Because overall, I feel like the food smells very exotic, you know what I mean? Okay, $1.40 buffet, how does it taste? My immediate thought was that the food is generally very sour. I mean, I already feel sour about a lot of the things that happened to me in my life. The food doesn't have to be this sour. I think that is to tone down the gamey flavor that comes from a lot of organ meats that they're using. But don't quote me on that. At the end of the day, I'm not a food expert, I'm a food enjoyer. Very strong flavor. Oh, a little too strong in my personal taste. After trying a little bit of everything, I felt like it's an unbelievable value for what I pay, and I thought it was amazing that a place like this exists for the everyday people. As far as the food is concerned, I'll give you the honest answer. I think it's pretty well made. However, I think the flavors are like extremely strong. So strong that it's not very appetizing for me. If you're looking for some food that you want to enjoy while you're traveling, this is probably not the place. I think it's only suitable for people that are looking for a good budget buffet. Somebody who wants to eat a lot for very little money. After you're done with the food, you have to return the place like a good boy. There are these paint buckets for the leftovers. And look at this pigeon trying to get all that food for free. Excuse me, it's only 50 baht. I'm sure even new pigeons have that in the savings account. They also give you this ice cold tea for drinking, which is great because typically in Thailand, you have to buy drinking water in restaurants. You can try drinking tap water. Well, I'm a risk taker, but not when it involves my lower body. All right, I just got a drinking water. I think that's some kind of tea that's been boiled. So drinking any water in Thailand is probably not a good idea. You always want to drink bottled drinks or something that's been boiled like this. Mmm, it tasted pretty good. Once you're done drinking, you just simply leave it here. And then the very hard-working lady over here will do the dishes. Again, I want to say that the food isn't bad, but I would only recommend it to somebody who's very accustomed to the local food. I mean, you guys know me, I can stomach a lot of food. But then I'd rather share an honest opinion with you guys. I still have that aromatic flavor from the bamboo shoots. Maybe I need to wash it down with something. And guess what? I think I found the perfect place for that. Oh, are these coconuts? I've never had coconut before, but since there's a little coconut still right here in front of me, how about I get that coconut drink for 30 baht? That's right, to crack this coconut open and drink the juice from it, it's only 30 baht, which is 85 cents. Don't you guys feel like there's something really therapeutic about seeing this gentleman work on the coconut? I really enjoyed it. There's my coconut with the skin intact. Allow me to drink from it and see what it's like. So I would say this coconut water, it tastes pretty much the same as the one that you would get from a supermarket, except this one doesn't come in a can. It's kind of room temperature too, it's kind of warm. It's probably nothing special to the local Thai people, but I felt really cool drinking straight out of a coconut like a cartoon character. 
Ugh, I sucked it dry. <laughs> Thank you. So it seems that the food in Thailand is very, very affordable. If that buffet was for one dollar, why don't we try a ten dollar buffet this time? How about we raise the ceiling a little? Today I'm here at another buffet that's just about ten dollars. It's called Ninja Barbecue Buffet. I heard that they have a lot of meat and seafood. I'm not sure what the food is really like, so let's go find out. It was a barbecue buffet that cost 339 baht per person, which is about 955 US dollars. Let's check out some of the food they have. They had some basic items like rice, french fries, fried rice, and papaya salad. A few vegetables that looked extremely fresh. One thing that I noticed in Thailand is that it's almost impossible to find fruits and vegetables that aren't fresh. I gotta say their shrimps looked extremely fresh. And so did the various kinds of meat that they had. I think they were mostly chicken and pork. I couldn't find beef. I'm about to go to the seafood section. It's super populated. There's a bunch of Chinese tour buses that are arriving now. I better hurry. I had to fight through a war zone just to get some crabs, but I think it'll be worth it. Cause you know, in a lot of countries, these things are super expensive. These shrimps look handsome. These are good looking shrimps. Some squid over here. Oh look, there's kimchi here. Yeah, representing Korea. I think these might be the dipping sauce. I later found out that these sauces are fantastic. So back on my table, they had a grill for my seafood. And another grill that was half filled with the broth, which was for the meat and the veggies. I didn't know about it, but the workers did most of the cooking, which made the experience so convenient. I was super grateful that this young lady was helping me. It's not easy grilling meat in this steaming hot weather, you know? But these guys are not liking that heat at all. If you come here with frugal parents, this is like the only thing they're gonna allow you to eat. It's just so high quality. Check this out. Tell me that looks good, huh? I'm gonna use some of their dipping sauce and let's find out how good it is. I gotta say it was really simple, but very good. I am really liking their pork belly. Bunch of pork belly. Put that in the dipping sauce. It tasted very much like Korean barbecue. There's a lady that's cooking for me right now. I told her I'm a YouTuber and she's very excited. How oh, awesome. They've been peeling the shrimps for me. What the hell? That's so kind. Wow. Even my mom didn't do that for me. <laughs> nah, I'm allergic to shrimps. I just can't turn down on this. Wow. Fresh as boy. The shrimp has a really chewy flesh. It's alive. It's healthy. I love how they have this giant ass Coca-Cola. Thank you. I love Coca-Cola. I like, I like Korea. You like Blackpink? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love Blackpink too. Like God 7. Oh, God 7. I thought it was really cute that she's into Korean culture. The waitress was there pretty much the whole time with me. It was a lot of work, and without her, filming this would have been a lot more difficult. So this restaurant, it's connected to the outside, so obviously there's no AC here. It gets pretty hot, it's kind of like a sauna in here. That being said, much respect to these young, hardworking people. Without them, I would have gone home hungry. She also cooked some octopus legs for me. Why don't I try that? Ever since I watched the documentary about how smart octopuses are, I feel like extra bad when I'm eating octopus. Still tastes as good though. Their seafood section was so popular that it always had people lined up to get the food. Well, it wasn't really a line, it was more like people wrestling each other to get the food. I was wondering why their Coca-Cola is so huge, but it's because, thank you, but it's because it's so easy to get dehydrated while you're here. You can't help but drink a lot. Oh. What I also really loved was their dipping sauces. It was kind of like salsa and it went so well with the seafood and the meat. I think whoever owns this restaurant is a K-pop stand. Because you know why? They're playing a lot of new jeans here. They play a lot of K-pop, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to tell them your name? You want to tell them your name? Beep? Yes. Her name's Beep. Come find her. I'm gonna personally beat you guys up if you don't tip her, okay? Many, many, many tips. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, tip her, tip her. <laughs> Korea, uh, number one, number one beauty. I like Korea. 
Oh, you like Korea? I like Thailand. Yeah. I like Thailand. <laughs> Turns out, Beep has an eye for food styling as well. Look at this gorgeous presentation. Oh my god, Beep, this is beautiful. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect, perfect. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? My name is John, and I'm a shrimp. And a family, too. Didn't like my wife, though. That's the body of John. He was probably alive all year today. I think it definitely was. Otherwise, this freshness can't be explained. But I feel like he's happier now because instead of being a pathetic colorless shrimp in the ocean, now he's a part of me. Beep had such a positive energy while working, and it made my dinner even more pleasant. So I just asked her how many hours she works per day. Apparently, she works 15 hours a day. Beep explained to me how much she was making from work, and it honestly broke my heart to hear such a hardworking person getting paid so little for her hard work. Best of luck to her. She seems like a fantastic young lady. She's been so kind to me today. Oh, I had so much food. Great service. Just extremely satisfied with what I got today. A little too many people at times, but it's understandable. And it was extremely nice to talk with Beep, become friends with her. Wow, a lot of dinner for $10. Oh, before I go, maybe I need to talk to her one last time. Hello, bye. Before I go, I want to give her everything I have, every cash I have. Take this. Please, for helping me. No, you help me. No, it's okay. Please. Aww. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that feels good. Did I just give her too much? Wait. I realized that I just paid 300 baht for the dinner and tipped her way more than that. Tipping is not really a thing in Thailand, but come on guys, she deserves it, right? That's for her future. I hope she continues to be awesome. Okay, $10 buffet. That was pretty phenomenal. Now, I heard that there's a $100 buffet somewhere in Bangkok. And I know you guys want to see that too. Let's go check that out too. Come on, now! The $100 buffet that I found was in the shopping mall called Siam Square. I was starving all day, so I couldn't wait to get the food. I have not made the reservation. So I'm not 100% sure if I can get in today. The place that I found was called the Wisdom International Buffet. They offer different tiers of buffets starting from about $30 up to $100. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna get their $100 Elite Buffet, which offers all kinds of expensive food as part of their all-you-can-eat. So it's not one of those places where you have to walk into the food counter and pick up the food on your plate. Instead, you use this tablet to order the food. I like this system because things are generally more fresh this way. They have Chinese food, Japanese food, Western food, and desserts. And of course, I'm gonna try all of them. After seeing the first item, I'm already getting excited. It's a barbecue freshwater eel. Guys, this might become one of my favorite buffet experience ever. First piece. Is it good? Wow. I couldn't believe that this was part of their all you can eat. It's big, fat unagi. I would go as far as saying that this is something that you would get from a pretty good Japanese restaurant. Mm. I also got this tuna sushi, which honestly didn't look that good. But allow me to find out if it really isn't. What can I say? It didn't taste like raw fish. It tasted like fish corpse. I'd hate to be negative, but this was just not it. The sushi's a little sour. Let's just say it wasn't worth ordering. Okay, I was not impressed by the sushi. It was a little too fishy. Like, I'm almost getting worried about tomorrow kind of fishy. This, I believe, is some kind of a Wagyu sushi. It has a little bit of salmon egg on top. Let me stuff myself with this big piece of meat. It was juicy, savory. It didn't feel like authentic sushi because it was mostly meat. But they used good meat and I really enjoyed it. How about I get this Chinese crispy pork? That looks crispy, right? You gotta use a dipping sauce. It wasn't like something that you would get from a great restaurant. I would say it was matchable to an average restaurant. Alright, let's try their Japanese Hokkaido beef. I was very surprised to see this at a buffet. It comes with this fine dining presentation as well. The beef actually looked really good, so I had high hopes for it. Please don't disappoint me. Wow! Guys, look at this. There's a, it's already been cooked, but you can kind of tell that there's a lot of marbling in this meat, right? The sauce gave it a touch of sweetness. This little piece of steak was so good that I think it might be the best piece of steak that I've had at a buffet. You know how when you go to a buffet restaurant, sometimes it says things like Wagyu beef, 
but it's not really Wagyu beef, you know what I mean? But it seems that they have actual Wagyu beef here. All you can eat? I just got a Hamon truffle cheese cream toast. That just looks fantastic. Great presentation too. This is good stuff. I believe foie gras that is in this, which is this thing that looks like tuna salad, I believe that's goose liver. So it had nice ingredients. Call me shallow, but I didn't like it that much. Anyway, what's next? Here's the Wagyu beef Thai curry with some noodles. Wagyu beef, how good could it be? Oh my god, guys. It really is good. <laughs> What I noticed about this buffet is that some items are just not worth getting, while some of the items are unbelievably good. This is foie gras wagyu toast with uni. Well, that sounds like it should be amazing, but is it really? I would say the wagyu beef is a little tough, but the uni that's on top is actually top notch. A little small though, and size matters. I also got this wagyu beef on grill. I got three tiny pieces. If I want more, I can order more. It doesn't look as good as the steak that I had all year ago. It came with a little too much of that samjang. But the meat itself is quite good. Before this gets too cold, let's start with the wagyu beef. Wagyu beef like this can be so unbelievably expensive that I feel like the fact that they have it here it's kind of crazy. When I tried their Wagyu steak, I just felt like the Hokkaido beef that I had earlier was so much better. They claim that this is Wagyu. It honestly doesn't come close to that first piece of beef that I had. I think I want to get that again. And I got a little teeny bitty pizza. My favorite food, pizza. It had a super thin crust, but it felt very much like a frozen pizza. Why don't we try another Thai food? This is basil pork. This is Thailand's national pride. It's like the most popular food in Thailand. If this doesn't make you jealous, you need to see a doctor. It was probably one of the more affordable dishes if you were to pay for it. So the inner Asian old man told me to stop going for it to make my money's worth. But I just couldn't stop because it was so good. So far, overall food experience, I feel like they might be a little better than the Korean buffet that are more expensive. Like this Hokkaido beef steak was so good that I had to get over and over again. It might be my favorite thing that I've had here so far. Up there with the grilled eel, the fork just sinks right in. It's so tender. This beef alone makes the experience so worth it. I'm all the way out here in Thailand. Of course I gotta try more of their food. Supposedly this meat is Wagyu. This boat noodle is one of the most popular dishes in Thailand. Its soup has pork blood, which a lot of the flavor comes from. I've been here for an hour and 10 minutes. My time is about to end. I'm gonna quickly put in my last dessert order. So this is their truffle macadamia or macadamia ice cream. It sounds like I'm just throwing any big words that I can think of, but it's actually what they call it here. You can definitely taste the truffle here. I think it's really nice. If you thought that wasn't cool enough, check this out. That's the highlight of the day. Oh. She's gonna set it on fire! Ah! Uh... It's their signature dessert. I think the liquid that she was pouring might have been rum. It was definitely some kind of liquid. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you. I said thank you. She didn't even look back. That's okay. I thanked her. That's all that matters. But isn't it cool that they put on a show like this? And if you thought that was the end of my dessert, you couldn't be more wrong. This is like enough sugar to kill a small child. Thankfully, I'm a big boy and I can handle it. When they give you syrup like this, you know what to do. You don't spare it, you just pour it all. Let's start with this. Blueberries, raspberries, scoop it up with the ice cream, and honey, and chocolate. That is a good scoop, right? Don't you guys want some too? Oh wow. It was kind of like one of those crazy desserts that you would get in fine dining restaurants. It wasn't quite as good, but it got pretty close. Okay, let's move on to this banana Nutella toast. 
For a buffet, their dessert game is really amazing. The melted sugar just caramelized on top of that banana. This is probably one of my favorite buffet experiences ever. Generally, great food. There were a few things that I wasn't such a fan of, like their raw fish sushi. I really can't get behind it. Everything else, they're as good as they make it sound. When they say Wagyu, they give you Wagyu. When they say truffle, there is truffle. And for about $100, what I got here today is just unthinkable. Now, I think that price is only possible because this is Thailand. That's a good amount of food. I didn't eat that much. So you might be asking, which one was your favorite, Jimmy? Well, they were all charming in their own way, but I would say the $10 buffet was overall my favorite. They had good, fresh food and service, and while it's not a dollar per person, it is still a very affordable restaurant. Of course, what made it even better was the waitress, Bib. She was so kind and hardworking. I wish I was carrying more cash that day. Well, talking about having more cash, if you guys want to support my channel, please go ahead and listen to my songs on Spotify for absolutely free, because every time you listen, Spotify has to pay me, and you know I'd use all of that money on my videos. That's the end of my video. I'll come back with another video soon. Thanks for watching, guys.